cancer, of course, is what we're known for because of our founder. And a lot of people come here after trying everything first. And cancer, when it comes to breast cancer, uh, there is more than 3.8 million women diagnosed with breast cancer in the United States. This is one in eight women. One in eight women suffers this. And there is mainly um, ductal carcinoma, and there is about 80% and about 20% lobular carcinoma. Then you're told that you have um, estrogen, progesterone uh, positive, or your HRT, um, uh, HER um, uh, positive, and then you put on medications for that. Of course, usually you're treated with, um, with big time. Many women are over treated big time and put into the fear a big time because this is what we do. Allopathically, we have surgeries, we have either chemo or radiation or both. I just talked to a woman that took, um, had a total mastectomy and she said, I had no idea. She had no idea how painful and it took three surgeries to finish her uh, ordeal. And now she has um, breast implants. And of course, breast implants is the next problem now. And, um, you know, I obviously, I understand every woman that have gone through this um, will want to look normal, have a normal life, but it is not normal. We've, we've had cancer and cancer is not something that goes away just because I do that I cut things out of my system because it's in my system. I cut organs out. I can keep cutting, but you know, it's in my blood. The blood carries everything. And there was a big study about uh, uh, fusobacterium. This is by um, um, uh, a, a big university in Israel. Uh, I'll try to think of the name and it will come to me. And anyway, they found that fusobacterium lives in our gums, like other things too, like, um, like um, uh, spirochetes that can be a big part of causing our cardiovascular problem. Heart, heart attacks and stroke could actually be um, spirochetes. And if I wanted really clean, I brought my, my uh, water pick to show you because this is something you need. So these fusobacterium can actually uh, travel through your uh, gums and in, go into a tumor and infect it. And then it actually can attach to sugar molecules. It comes sugar again. And then it can provoke signal for your tumor to start travel. So they said, this is a big part of why tumors metastase, fusobacterium in your gums. So now what they found long time ago that if you uh, floss and brush your teeth, it gets down three millimeter in your gums. And these guys live three millimeter. So did I say one? I mean, one millimeter. These guys live three millimeter down. The only way I'm gonna get to them is diet, chewing good, health, healthy, live food, and getting a water pick. There's many different kinds. And water pick is kind of like a, um, uh, a, a brushing and, and it's, it's cleaning really well and getting into those uh, bugs. But diet is huge. And remember, it attached to sugar molecule and then it provokes signal because of that to for tumor cells to migrate. Let's move on. Yeah, so that's a big problem. So that, the, that, that study is amazing. And it kind of confirms what many has trying to figure it out. Breast cancer, although lumpectomy has shown to be better than mastectomies, most doctors prefer to remove their entire breast. Yeah, and this has been uh, controversial for a long time. And because at the end of the day, it's still in my system. And many times when I tell people this, that it's still in my lymph, my lymph carries this everywhere. How does it go? 
how it goes through my blood and my lymph. So I need to purify, I need to cleanse, I need to rebuild, rejuvenate my system. That's what it comes down to. No matter what treatment you, you decide to do. So in my book, Killer Clothes, there are tons of studies that shows how polyester, polyester nylon bras have give us a six times greater chance of developing breast cancer. So we want to use natural fiber and you have lymph under your arms and going up the chest to through uh, your breast. And so if I'm using nylon polyester bras and they're really tight and I have underwire, six times greater risk. So now we need to find organic cotton bras without underwires. And we also need to get rid of our breast implants because if we have them, you, you are told that they last 10 years. One of our friends took them out after seven years, they were leaking. The, the, the surgeon that took them out said, look at my calluses. I had to grab it out of your chest and they had to take lymph nodes under each side of their arm. This is so, do you see all these bras hanging there? Yeah, let's burn them. Okay, it's time to burn our bras. We, we, it's really a problem because if you go into a normal store, all you have is this junk, junk, right? So you need to look into um, sites. I use uh, a Swedish site called Sveg Mark, S-W-E-G Mark, M-A-R-K. The thing is, there is so many amazing um, people that are making um, organic cotton bras. I did for a certain time. It's a big job. Uh, not me personally, don't put me with a sewing machine, no. <laughs> but I had people make it and the white, wider straps and beautiful. The people that had them, they love them. But you can find similar things. So um, that's a big deal. Six times greater risk. So uh, contrary to the myth, the genetic myth, 85% of women who develop breast cancer have no family history. But really only 5% are genetic, 5%. The rest is my lifestyle. Again, you know, that what I choose to do. Am I happy with my work? 70% of Americans hate to go to work. They hate their work, but they do it. So this is the study. Hebrew University connected the bacteria which is the Fuso bacteria with breast cancer. And also other university has connected chicken DNA with E. coli and um, salmonella to breast cancer and other forms, a colon, pancreatic, you name it, uh, esophageal cancer too. So the Hebrew University was uh, uh, not just breast cancer, it was esophageal, uh, pancreatic, and colon cancer. And, um, you know, it's, it's a landmark, I think, for people to understand how this happens, how your cancer can um, transmit and metastase, because it's kind of been mystic. How is it happening? Well, you know, a tumor have these tentacles and that's how they move into other places. But what is, what is it that really make them do that? So obviously it's not just the bacterium, it is the sugar, it's the lifestyle, it's our um, abuse, it's our abuse. Uh, you gotta start thinking of your body as your best friend, the tool, the vehicle, the vehicle where everything is traveling.